Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today we're trying one of these great value artisan crafted shells and cheese. This one is the smoked Gouda flavor. Um, microwave shell pasta with cheese sauce. This was a dollar at Walmart, which is a great value of the Walmart brand. It is uh, 340 calories if you eat the whole bowl. And microwave directions, remove lid and cheese sauce, um, set it aside. Add water to the fill line, stir thoroughly. Uh, make sure you keep the powder in there. Uh, microwave uncovered for three minutes or until pasta is tender. Do not drain. Um, stir in cheese sauce and eat. So basically water and uh, three minutes. So, and what I usually do is I stick this into a paper bowl or you can stick it on a paper plate just in case it bubbles over. Um, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. You know, it just depends. And also you want to make sure you get all the powder of this packet because um, it tends to stick on there. So I'll make sure I get all that before I... I actually get the microwave but there is the fill line right right there it says fill line it's got an arrow to it right at the end of my finger right there that's the fill line so um it's just the standard macaroni and cheese the pasta is just the standard the the it's the cheese packets that are different for each one of these so i'm gonna get this in the microwave and i'll be back all right here it is out of the microwave it did not boil over so that's good i'm just gonna stir it up just a little bit and then i got my cheese sauce i just cut the top off here It's a very pale cheese. Look at that. I don't eat Gouda cheese all the time, so I don't know what Gouda cheese is supposed to look like, but it's pretty pale cheese. And it's usually sticky and clumpy uh, right the first, right when you first get it out of the microwave and you start stirring it up. And once you get the cheese sauce in there, it gets a little creamier. You can see how, how much better it looks already. Um, but it is a kind of a sticky pasta. And I, I would say if you cooked it just a little bit less than the three minutes, I did it literally just three minutes. But if you did it just a little bit less, if you if it depends on your microwave. My microwave, I think I could go just a little bit less. Um, that has a smoky flavor or scent to it. It smells kind of smoky. So, okay. So I'm going to let this cool off a bit and then I'll be back. Okay, it's had a little time to cool off. It's still steaming though. And of course it has a smoky flavor because it's smoked Gouda. So that's a good thing. It's supposed to have a smoky flavor. So here's the bite I'm going to take. There's nothing but pasta and cheese on here. So Salt Lacker's onions and peppers in here or something. Bacon. Which would be pretty good actually. Um, That's good. It definitely has a smoky flavor. It's like a, um, a smoky cheese. I like that. I like the flavor of that a lot. The um, the pasta is a little soft for me. Uh, like I said, you probably, if you ate these all the time, you would adjust your microwave temperature or your time to where you cooked it just the way you liked it. For me, it's a little overcooked. So I would probably go instead of three minutes, I'd probably go 245 and see what that was like. Um, it's probably gonna be a little bit better for me because I like my pasta a little firm, um, al dente, I guess. Um, but the flavors are really good. I'll, I love the smoky flavor of this. And the cheese flavor itself is a light flavor. It's more smoky than, than cheesy, but I like it. Um, out of all of them, this is probably my favorite one. This is probably the one I like the most. Um, I'm gonna give it a four just because I think if uh, the flavors are good, um, if you sprinkle some bacon bits in here, it'd be even better. But um, the, um, the flavors are good, the, the texture and everything is good. And the pasta being overcooked for me personally, um, I can rectify with adjusting my time in the microwave. If it's um, if it's too soft or too hard for you, then you adjust your time in the microwave too. So um, three minutes gets it a little soft and mushy for me, but um, like I said, you may like it like that. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one a four. I uh, hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching.